Hello friends, and welcome to Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. This is the first of the DS Castlevania games that we're going to be playing, and I am so excited. I love this game so much. It's... This is one of my favorite Castlevania games. Or not like this one in particular, but like this series of... Oh, look, I like the Castlevania games on the DS, okay? They're good. They're so good. Ah, I, I have to actually have to sign my name. Okay, um... Perfect. Nailed it. Ever since the solar eclipse of 2035, my life has never been the same. It was then that I realized that I, Soma Cruz, am the rebirth of Dracula. And it was in his castle that I learned this truth, that I possess the power to seize the souls of my enemies. That power almost engulfed me, but my friends pulled me back from the brink. About a year had passed since then, and I thought my troubles were over. This picks up exactly where the previous game left off. Just exactly afterwards. Well, plus a year. And plus a generation, hardware generation. And as you can see, Mina actually has um, a characterization now. She actually has like a little bit of personality in her in her artwork. Soma doesn't, he looks exactly the same. But Mina, Mina has some personality in her artwork. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. And that's when Hammer decided to- You're still talking about that? That was a year ago. Wait, Soma. Can I ask you something? Yeah, of course, Mina. What's wrong? It's been a year since it all happened, hasn't it? Yeah, about. And what was it called? You know, the ability of, to use the power of monsters? Oh, the power of dominance. I'm a dom now. I lost it when we escaped Dracula's castle, remember? I know, but it's just that I get this terrible feeling inside. Well, ignoring that one. It's probably nothing. Look, just don't worry, okay? This past year, I haven't been able to use any of the powers I gained. And... Oh, hello. Hugh. Wait, uh, oh, what's a good voice for her? I think she sort of has like that, oh, Ojo voice. You, you are Soma Cruz, aren't you? Uh, yeah, and you are? You may call me Celia. But not for long. Come forth, my servants. Oh, <laughs> What? Mina, get back! Damn it, of all the worst! Soma, you back off too! No, he was wheedly. Soma, you back off too! Mr. Arikado! Genya Arikado! Genya Arikado, the Guardian! <laughs> you shall not interfere! A barrier? Quick, Soma, use this! What do we got? A knife! Okay, I can work with that. You can tell he's American because he has uh, he's blonde. That, yeah, that kind of tracks, doesn't it? <laughs> Throw bones. All right. Let me also just um a little bit of uh. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Ow. And we are starting out with one of each of the armors, with one of each of these uh, souls. Tactical type souls, you can hold R and you'll do whatever it is. The bone soul, you throw. Ow. Ow, wait. You mean, dude, you're a tutorial. You're not supposed to actually hurt me. I'm out of mana already. Okay, good, we're fine. Someone has definitely died to that boss. Someone has definitely died to that tutorial boss, though. And a strength up. So. Yeah, these are uh, the first ones, the red souls, are ability souls. They are your classic Castlevania abilities. Your axe throw, your knife throw, your, your the normal things that normally cost hearts. This one, you hold the R button to do. Usually they are mobility devices or sustained uh, charge abilities. You hold it down for the duration. And then these are just passives. This is just a... This just does it whenever you have it equipped. Anyone else? Where there would Celia go? Hello? Soma Cruz, I shall see your demise, that is certain. Using whatever means. <laughs> Called it. Oh, she totally did the, the Ojo laugh. Oh, she totally did it. Called that. Wait. Save your energy. You won't catch her now. Damn it. Soma, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. With that power, it returned. Arikata, what's going on? 
The power didn't return. It was always with you. You just never had a need for it since you fled the castle. Yep, that's that's Ricardo. That wheelie voice. Is the armor the same sprite as the ones in uh uh S Y O N? I mean, which one is S Y O N? If you mean if you mean Symphony of the Moon, you know, or the, if you mean S O T N, then I think so. I think a lot of these use the same sprites because the the classic sprites fit really well on the D S and uh, scene. And that, and that set free all the souls that you had gained. Yo, thank you so much, guy. I appreciate that. Yay! Thank you so much. And that set free all the souls that you had gained dominance over. You mean, I couldn't use the power because I was never in danger? Huh. Well, maybe he's not American then. <laughs> anyway, who was that woman? She seemed to know you. Celia Fortier. She's the priestess of some new rapidly growing cult. We suspected she was up to something, so we've been keeping tabs on her. What? What? Is, what are you? What are you doing then? Why do you care about this? What's going on here? But why would someone like that come after Soma? And they want to resurrect the Lord of Darkness, like some sought to do with Dracula. So they don't like that I didn't become Dracula then? Not only that, they intend to create a new Lord by eliminating you. Uh, eliminating? But Soma, you don't need to get any more involved with this. Let us deal with it. We should, you know, we don't, let's just let them deal with it and walk away. Honestly, that sounds like a good plan. I mean, if we just, like, you know, I, I think the rest of the game we're just gonna go into hiding and, um, move to, like, just, just move to Manitoba and no one will find you ever. She said she would see my demise. Soma. Several days later. Yeah, okay, that looks like Manitoba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he actually did it, huh? <laughs> yep, okay. Oh, no, we're going to the cold space. Okay. Hammer's info wasn't so iffy after all. <laughs> you doubted my word? No, should be lower on that, I think. Hammer, what are you doing here? Let me drop that one down a bit. What, are you dense? There we go. Well, that's a bit too much closer to Soma's, then. What? What, are you dense? Yeah, add a bit of gravel to it. I work out the voice acting along the way, you know? What, are you dense? Who told you about this place? Wait, it was me. Well, yeah, but... Hey, you got your mind on doing something wicked, huh? I want in, buddy. And hey, what happened to that pretty little lady? You remember, right? Hammer? What? Are you talking about my girlfriend, Mina? I think... Is Mina my girlfriend? I think Mina's my girlfriend. Actually, I don't know, I guess. I guess we don't know if Mina's our girlfriend. You mean Yoko? She's not coming. I haven't actually told anyone. Oh, she ain't coming. Oh, uh, well, why not? Oh, man. Well, since I'm here, I'd better make the best of it. Guess I'm back in business and you're my customer. Hammer! Look, I'm saying this for your own good. You really should leave. Can't do that, I'm afraid. I know when someone's in trouble, and I'm not just gonna leave you here. Okay. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Now I'll scope out the area and find a spot to set up shop. See you around! Let's just go that, that grizzly, gravelly, um, American accent. Man, why wouldn't... There, yeah, there it is. Why wouldn't she tell... Wait, what? Man, why wouldn't he just tell her about this? You are down bad for Yoko. Man, dude, calm down, Hammer! Yoko's gonna show up, isn't she? I swear. He's a bald American, anime American. Yeah, 100%. So the basic gameplay of this is like many of the other um, Castlevania games that I enjoy, where you have a lot of good options. You have good feeling um, movements and maneuvers. Enemies are enjoyable to stab. You can collect money, you can spend money. It, it, I'll, I'll, I'll get into it as we go, but we already have a weapon. We have a short sword. You know what? Sure, we'll switch over to a short sword. Short sword. Huh, oh, okay. And... A magic seal is needed. Ah, yes, I remember that now. A potion. And a save room. Beautiful. Alright, well... I believe to the right left is a boss door, but one that we cannot simply go to yet. Yeah? 
because we need a magic seal. So we're gonna have to go find one. I mean, it's a start. It's this tutorial island, right? This is not gonna be a terribly difficult segment. We have to assume. Hello, Ward. And yes, I believe this is also the same spray as Symphony of the Moon. Or yeah, why? Why did I say Symphony of the Night? I was blending it with Bloodstained Ritual of the Moon. That's the one I was thinking of. I hop. And it looks good. Like I love sprite art. Good sprite art is timeless. Good sprite art always will look good. I firmly believe, and I will die on this hill, that Final Fantasy VI looks better than Final Fantasy VII. Not the remake, but the original Final Fantasy VII. Go back and compare the actual original of both. And good sprite art just holds its its it holds its nature in the way that other advancements in technology don't. Right? When you try and chase hyper realism. And when you try and chase, you know, polygons, you're going to eventually come up against walls in a way that pixel art is just going to continue to look fantastic for. Those two? Okay, yeah, Yoko's here. Obviously she is. Of course she is. Oh. Oh, Soma. <clears throat> Yoko, Julius, what are you two doing here? Funny you should ask that. We got wind of this cult from a tip by Atacado. I'm investigating with Mr. Belmont. I'm sure you remember him. You know, the hunter. Soma, please understand. That's too close to, to uh, that's too close to Hammers. Soma. Yeah, that's right. He has a protagonist voice. He's actually the protagonist. Soma, please understand. If the darkness draws you in, I have no choice but to destroy you. Yeah, I know. Then there's no reason for you to be here. That's right. Uh, uh, that Celia woman, she was after me, and she tried to harm Mina, too. I'm not going to stop till I find her. Well, you're determined, I see. And I have nothing more to say. Wait, 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 Julius, please. Oh, how can you just say that? I'm going now. Wait a second, I'm coming too. No, Yoko, you stay. We need a contact here just in case. Wait, you can't just... Uh, turns out he can just. Okay, bye. Go beat the game for me. I'll, I'll be hiding out here. Man, they're so selfish. I bet you have no intention of going home either. Well, uh, the game would be really short if I did. Fine, here, take this. And magic seal. The cult leader appears to create gates to draw in the power of darkness. Monsters exposed to that power are said to be invincible. So, how am I supposed to destroy them? That's where this magic seal comes in. Want to practice using it? Sure, let's go! So, every game that came out on the DS has to have a DS function. And in this one, it's drawing sigils. It's going boop, boop, boop. And I'm gonna have to memorize these. And yes, that actually was a requirement for Nintendo, to, for the, the publi uh, for publishers, is that a DS game has to make use of the system's gimmick. That's actually a very common thing for Nintendo to do. They eased off a lot on it on the Switch. The Switch doesn't have that. You don't have to use the, the gyro controls or anything like that. They want you to. Trust me, they do. But you don't have to the way that you did for um, many of the other systems, including the DS and including the, well, obviously the Wii. And the Wii went over extremely well, right? Everyone loved making Wii, uh, Wii controls because everyone loves motion controls. Everyone's favorite type of control is a motion control. Obviously, that's just, that, that's just science. Let's go, so. Okay. We should go back and find a different way in. Alright. I will escort you. Let's go. Yoko, do you do anything? You do not. I'm sorry you got bit. I was hoping that you might defend yourself. Aren't you supposed to be like a powerful, like, witch hunter or something? Don't you have, like, lore? Don't, aren't you, like, some, like, you know... Like, church inquisitioner or something? Like... I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Don't you have like something going on, Yoko? I'm pretty sure. I mean, she had a magic seal on hand, right? So like, she's not nothing. Apparently, she doesn't want to attack though. That's okay. Well, there's literally only one way to go. This door. 
It looks like you'll need a magic seal. Yeah, I know that, Yoke. I tried to poke it, and the game told me I need a magic seal. Yeah, that was like the one thing the game told me. Looks like we'll need a magic seal to finish off the monster in here. Just be calm and focus. I'll be waiting here. No problem! Gee. <laughs> You're right, guy. <laughs> All right. I think I just use these bones. These bones will do damages. That'll do help. I mean, it's a tutorial boss. I'm not worried about it. Oh, jeez. Ah, okay, you're fine. Fine, fine. Now, we don't have a whole lot of tools, but, like, again, it's a first boss. We're just gonna throw bones at it until it falls over. Easy. Now, I want to show this off. If I mess up the sigil, and it does not remind me what the sigil is, if I mess up the sigil and fail it, the boss comes back to life from zero health with, like, I think like a third of its health or something. Maybe it's 20%. They come back with a big chunk of health left, and you have to fight them again. There is a real penalty for not actually letting the sigil. It's not just a whoopsie doodle. You can lose boss fights. You can lose battles. You can hit resets if you mess up the city. And I assure you, I will. <laughs> you did it. Using magic seals is a piece of cake. Thanks, Nintendo. Don't be too sure. That magic seal won't be useful forever. What do you mean? They'll probably prepare more and new and complex magic patterns for seals that'll really screw you up. Huh. Well, don't worry. They'll have magic seal patterns hidden somewhere. And if they don't, those gates to the dark side will be useless. I get it. I don't get it. I won't keep holding you up as my escort anymore. <sighs> I can manage now. You sure? Well, in that case, I'll go too. Oh, there's one more thing, though. Julius may have some new information, so... Come see me if you're close by, okay? And Soma, please don't do anything reckless. Count on it. You take care too, Yoko. I have no idea what this is. I mentioned this in, in, um, in Aria as well. Every time you beat a boss, you get this thing. And in the older games, it made sense. It made sense, uh, like, because these were, like, you know, fragments of Dracula that you were connecting, collecting. Like, this was, like, you know, a big... This was your goal. This was the goal, not like, you know, the beating of the boss was secondary to just getting the, this thing that you got for beating the boss. But here, that's just a health and mana refill with no explanation or justification. I feel like it's just there because it was a Castlevania thing. Right, so we have the flying armor that we just got from that thing and immediately teaches us how to use it because... Again, Tutorial Island. And we get... The Claymore! We have a first heavy weapon. A big, chonky thwonk. Hi, buddy. Thwonk. And we also just picked up... A spear! And... Here we pick up... A mace! Look, this is something I want to talk about because it's so core to why I like this game. I'm actually going to go back to the knife for a few minutes until we get a little bit farther, but I want to talk about this at length. Is it safe from here? Nice, I love it. I wonder why it doesn't default to yes. This is kind of weird. <clears throat> Ooh, and a clock tunic. Okay. I'll take that. My style tends to be more about the knife and the fast attacks, swift movements. I like to stab things, okay? Stabbing things is fun. Back, 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 back here! Okay, but if I got a soul off that, it would have been cool, right? Yo! Hey, welcome. What do you think? Not a bad shop, eh? I'm not messing up that voice already. Of all the weirdest places to set up a shop. Have a look around and don't be so cheap. Huh? Yoko's in the area! I saw her earlier. She must have come after me. Hammer, calm down! What? Mm, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
That's uh, not it. Ah, uh, you sure are quick to put a man down, aren't you? Yes, I am. Calm down, Hammer. She's here to investigate the cult, she said. Well, whatever the case, I can tell you I'm a lot more motivated this time. Hammer, you're at like, you're at like a 10? I'm gonna need you to come down to like a three tops. That's a, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Didn't you come to back me up, dude? Anyways, look around and buy something already. I actually have a little bit of money. Um, actually some stuff to buy actually. I'll buy a map. Don't know how he got that. I'll buy some news. Don't, why not? I would love a rapier. Um, you also have brass knuckles. Need that, 100%. A boomerang. I'll look at the rapier as well. I have 400 money dollars left. Um... I kind of want this boomerang, but can't afford it. Leather armor is that's plus, plus four. That's actually a decent upgrade. It's just a little bit too expensive now. I don't think we have an accessory right now. Let's go. Lucky charm. That's good. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. All right. Now I want to talk for a little bit because we've been playing this game for under half an hour, and it's been a long time since I played this game. But I remember this part so vividly, and I just want to go back to the save room, and we're going to talk about how cool it is to have cool weapons. You see that damage? Okay, okay, okay. No. So, we've been playing this game for a little under a half hour, give or take. And we have, in our inventory, right now, a punch weapon that is very fast and uh, short range. We have... A knife, which is a little bit longer range and a little bit slower, but, but also does a little bit more damage. Actually does the same damage, so it's more it's that you trade off the reach for the speed then, actually. We have a big heavy two-handed sword, which also does not animation cancel, you can see. So, I've talked about that before. Um, the Castlevania games usually have an animation cancel, where when you touch the ground, you can start a new animation. Uh, short sword will probably do that, which is another weapon we have, an entirely extra weapon, which is just good range, decent speed, a good all-arounder. See how when I hit the, my feet touch the ground, the animation ends and I can start a new attack? Pow pow, as opposed to pow pow, pow pow, pow, pow pow. So you have the animation cancel on the short sword, but not on the claymore, because it's a heavy weapon. And then we also have a mace as a super heavy weapon. Which is very slow and very wonky. And then we also have a spear, which has good reach, but is relatively lower damage and relatively lower speed, but the range heavily makes up for it. We've been playing this game for half an hour and look at how much options we have! We have so many ways to play the game! You can already find your playstyle, find your preferred weapon, and like play the game how you want to within 30 minutes of gameplay. Do you have any idea how long it took me to get the weapons that I wanted to play in Bloodborne? It took me the whole game, because I want the only dex build we weapons that I really wanted were the dual blades and the scythe, and neither of them were readily available until most of the way through the game. I love this. Give players options, options, opportunities, opportunities. Give players what they want. And then, now, let's talk about this. Let's talk about one other option. Every of these weapons... Bam! You see that? This is a heavy attack that hits for a bazillion damage. How much does it do? 17? Okay, no. How about I miss? How about I miss entirely? What? Okay, that was a bad that was a bad example. Um, let me try it again. What if I hit for 27 damage on that? Brass knuckles? Yeah, sure. Are they respawn here? No. Sure. What about seven damage? What if I uppercut for double that at the cost of some mana? That's awesome. What about this? I tried the mace. What about the claymore? The claymore is cool. What about um, a solid 20 damage? Nice, nice, nice. Big fan, big fan. Uh, no, let's just hit it for 32 with a bigger AoE. 
It's sick. It's beautiful. It's cool. The knife. There we go. The knife just stabs someone for 8 damage, or you hit someone for 21 with a forward thrust. Uh, is that not your style? What about a spear? You like spears? I like spears. We can hit someone for 17 damage. Or triple uh, hits. Not heavier damage, actually three separate attacks. And then the rapier, which is actually what I'm going to be using, which is why I'm ending on it. Which you can hit someone for 13, or double that into, with a forward thrust. You have so many options so early in the game! You can choose your playstyle. You can do what you want, you can live your life, you can... Look, look, it's this type of customization that I love, and yes, I can. Thank you for telling me. There, that should be better. Is that good? Ow! Jerk. So yeah, before we finish Tutorial Island, the game has given us all of the options for different ways to play the game that we could have wanted. And I love that. I love that for us, I love that for it, I love that for this game. Oh, hi, Soma. You're gonna act as if Julius's contact is- wait, you're gonna act as Julius's contact here? That was a really awkward line. That was really stilted, Soma. Yeah, no one was living here, so I thought it'd be okay. Oh, that rough-looking guy's right across from me. What was his name again? Uh, Hammer? Yeah, that's it. What's he doing here? Lusting after you, Yoko! That's what he's doing here. He's lusting after you. Well, he, he came to help me. Yeah, that's it. Honestly, you didn't ask him to come, did you, Soma? Of course I didn't. I'm sure you wouldn't. But it's too dangerous for him to be here. He's an American. He'll be fine. Can't you tell him to leave? Uh, I told him already. He wouldn't budge. Besides, it's helpless now. Especially after someone who's not supposed to be here showed up. Huh? Well... If he wouldn't listen to you, I suppose it's hopeless. By the way, I gained a new ability. New ability? What? So the power of dominance... I'm sorry, I'm still not over the power of dominance. So the power of dominance lets you control the souls of monsters, right? Yeah. So I thought I could use magic to draw out the monster souls and use them too. You mean, like, release them? Nah, yeah, mm, I would need some cooperation, Soma. And it's not something that's easy to do. Uh, how do you plan on using it? Well, I can fuse the freed souls to a new weapon, creating a new weapon, binding the soul to it for all of its eternity, and, and uh, damning the, the embedded soul for, uh, for in, into this new prison. It's basically like letting him free, right? The souls you use will be lost, though. Um, can you even, like, do that? That's rude of you to ask. I may not look the part, but I am considered an exceptional spellcaster. Just tell me if you need something. I'll prove it to you. Okay, then. Oh, and by applying my ability, I might be able to reduce the souls used. I'm not sure you'll need it, but mm, keep that in mind. Yeah, I got it. This is cool. So you can free souls. I don't really know what those do. I think that that just ma makes your upgrades easier. But check this out. You can use souls to upgrade weapons. <clears throat> I mentioned the last game. You can check the playlist tab to see Arya. I mentioned the last game how much... I loved these souls in this game, how getting a new soul always felt exciting because it was a new tool to use, even if it wasn't something that you wanted, even if it wasn't the tool that you wanted to use, even if it wasn't the best tool for the job, you felt excited because you got something new, something new, fresh, something shiny. This game does two things to even double down on that, to make it even more poignant. The first is that the more souls you have, the more potent the abilities become. Having five Armor Knight souls means you have a much stronger armor, uh, weapon spin. And the second is that she can send you out to go look for stuff. If you have a weapon, we have a Claymore. If I get a Warg soul, she can upgrade it to a Falchion. Here, let me grab my... So we have a Claymore. If we get this, she can go as the Falchion, which has this damage. And I believe there's actually legendary weapons that you can make from boss souls too, Dark Souls style, a, a decade before Dark Souls came out. That's not true. Several years before Dark Souls came out. Oh, I have it, I have it equipped. Hold on, do I have to unequip it? Oh, you can also just go unarmed, which is funny. Oh no, the rapier can't be upgraded. Interesting. But like, right now, just using the Armor Knight Soul, which we're not going to use, ever. We could make a uh, the Partisan Spear. We can, uh, the, if with the Needles, we can make Morgenstern. 
with a z simple zombie soul, we can upgrade a brass knuckles to a cestus, which I'm going to do right now. <laughs> now we find whatever a slaughterer is, and we are now hunting. We are now, without having like a hunt board or like a, a you know, achievement board, we are now looking for something. Now if we find a slaughterer, we go, oh, oh, I need that soul. And we're excited. This drives excitement. And that's a good thing. I think I'm gonna upgrade the spear too. Nah, I'll just use the... Cestus. We're gonna go punches. We're gonna do more bunches of punches. <laughs> hey, Soma. Y y y Yoko! Wait, hey, Soma. Y y Yoko! Whoa, is something wrong with Yoko? I've been in my shop. Yeah? She's waiting to hear back from Julius, man. <laughs> you knew she was here and didn't tell me? Yep. W what's wrong with you, pal? I was about to tell you, but... <clears throat> well, anyway... This brings the two of us a lock. No, it doesn't. Not him, or no, it does not. It, it really doesn't. It, it really doesn't, Hammer. Just, you need to calm down, man. It's, it's really weird. As if you had a chance. Huh? You say something? Nope. Anyway, nothing new on sale? Um. I should get some potions, I guess. Or maybe some mind up. You know what? I want antivenom more importantly, that's what I need. I actually need these just in case. There's also an axe that we could have gotten, there's also a katana that we could have gotten already, and there's also a boomerang, which I definitely want to try out! As well as some armor, like this, you have so many options at level zero, it's so good, I love it. Sorry, I'm going to be gushing about this game literally the whole time. I am just going to be absolutely enjoying every minute of this, and I'm taking you guys along for the ride, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, because we're going to be having a good time here. Uh, wait, is there something... Alright. This, this game's dialogue is super creepy. Super creepy. Let, let the National possibly the UN and NATO? I mean... I don't know how well they, they're going to deal with uh, vampires, you know? That doesn't sound like... doesn't exactly sound like their jam. Ooh, a dust devil. Is that what it's called? What do you call it? Why isn't it showing me the enemy's names? Isn't that supposed to be a thing that happens? I hop. Good. Oh, hey, that's Celia. She's the cult leader. Okay. She's got a nice poster. I guess she... Do cults advertise? I actually don't know. Do cults, like, you know, just, like, set up billboards? It seems kind of weird. Wait, I missed a spot to the left. Also, I'm sorry the mini-map is going to be so small. There really isn't a good way of showing both screens in this format. So I just kind of did the best I could. I prioritized the main screen. And anytime I want to show off the, the secondary screen, I can do this. And we're going to go to that. And I can also grab my... Arrow. We're gonna go up to this room first, and then I guess we'll go back down in this area here. But that's the best way for me to do a DS game. If you can think of a better way to present a DS game, let me know, but I think this is gonna probably how it's gonna be having to look. Oh, wait, I couldn't get that one. That's. Something's going on there. I mean, there's definitely a room there, because there's one on the mini map, but. Not that I can access. It is forbidden. It also encourages the player to actually engage with every encounter. Because every encounter can give you a soul, therefore every encounter is valuable. Ooh, a skeleton. And when every encounter is valuable, then you're going to want to kill things. I mean, it sounds obvious to say, but like, a big problem with many Metroidvanias and Souls games is that because a lot of them don't use experience systems, or even the ones that do don't need experience systems because the weapon does most of the heavy lifting, which is true in this game too. You end up ignoring fights, you end up running past fights more often than actually engaging with them. Okay, 
and whatever that is. Well, we don't have whatever breaks that yet. Also, look at that parallax scale mirror reflection that actually shows our character's reflection as well. And if we press up, we get to flip our hair. Look at that. Whoosh! 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 Beautiful. We look fabulous. We fought a golem in the, uh, in the end with a knife. You know what? You raised a good point. We should let the JSF handle, handle this. You're absolutely right. Man, that guy's not that hard. He looks more impressive than he is. Well, I guess, you know, size does not mean everything. Look at me. Like me. I am small. And weak. So I guess sometimes it means something. You're doing great. You're... Oh, you're okay. Good try. Good try. Try again next time. Hmm. Uh, what's over here? You? I'm gonna punch you. Okay. Also, I do notice that this punch doesn't double hit the way the uh, Mach Fist did in the other game. The other game we attacked effectively twice as fast. Ooh, we got a oh, cat. We got a cat. I'll use the cat. Let's go cat time. We got a meow cat. I love that. I think this does the same thing that Metroid does, where it'll only give you... Hmm? What the? Oh, we Okay. Looks like we drained him out. That's cool. It looks like it's doing the same thing that uh, Metroid does, where it'll give you money if you don't need uh, missiles. Or mana, in this case. Oh, wait, I don't have any arc on that hat now. Maybe I do want to keep the bones. Maybe we do need bones. Oh, what do we got? <gasps> Tornadoes! Let's go! That's... That does not look terribly impressive so much, actually. I'm, I'm actually kind of disappointed, if I'm being real. Oh, okay, that just goes there. Okay. And I can't go up that side. Alright, we'll give this the tornado a shot. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. Zone line. Ooh, wizardry lab. Also, we're not in Dracula's castle. We're just in, like, some place. Okay, that's acceptable damage, I guess? Drains my mana way too quickly, though. Let's get the flying armor on for now. Wait, did that actually... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Maybe we need, like, a fire attack for that, I'm thinking. Ooh. Also, look at that signaling. They put a mi they put a potion here to get encourage the player to go there, so the player can go. Oh, hey, a save room. They just led the player there because otherwise you don't know where you want to go. You could go right, you could go down, you could go left. By putting that potion there, it all but ensures that the player is going to go left. And if the player goes left, they go to where they, you know, where they can get a save room, which is the, what a new player is going to need. It's good game. The game design this is phenomenal. Okay, that cat does very low damage, but it can multi hit. Okay, um... Back to Skeleton for now. Ooh! Blunt Sword! I'm pretty sure this means... Uh, there. I'm pretty sure... Wait, what did that say? A dull cutting edge, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is actually supposed to be a Boken, as in a wooden sword. Ooh! Look at that! Look at that katana animation! Look at that unique katana animation! And it has the animation cancel, so we can get the, the jumping double strike. Oh, this game's good! We already have options! Defeat Dracula with a cat? You know what? I'm not promising it. But if the opportunity arises, I may try to defeat Dracula with a cat. Leather armor, too. That's... that's good upgrades. What do we got here? Money. Okay. Yeah, we're still at the point in the game where money matters. I don't think Yoko charges money. I think she just requires you to get the souls. I don't think she actually cares if you get enough, if you pay her. Like, I don't think she takes money. 
I mean, she gets souls to buying souls out of it, which I guess is her hobby? I don't know. I don't know Yoka's deal. She's kind of weird. She's like a whole thing. I think, I don't know, we, I guess we're out of Tutorial Island now, technically. This katana is pretty cool, gotta say. I mean, that's not good at getting its ghosts, but like, what is? Ow! I was gonna fight with a katana. Play the game the way that makes me happy? I will do that, but I will also do it the way that makes it funny. Also, thank you so much! I appreciate that. See, the way that makes me happy is the way that's funny. Like, I enjoy doing the weird things. I enjoy doing things that make me, I don't know, that, do, that make strange and interesting events occur. The way that makes me happy is the funny way. Which is honestly why I stream, because the way that I would naturally would go about beating the game, in theory, should be entertaining anyways. I hope. I hope. <laughs> All right, let's go back to bunches. Ooh, what, new? What, wait, wait, what do we have? Library. Dracula Vod Tepes, the vampire once feared as the Dark Lord, was resurrected many times. He waged a long, he waged a long and brutal war against the Belmont clan. In 1999, he was finally defeated for good. Ah, sure. Uh, Soma, Mina. Okay, so we just get here. Just bios, just character bios. All right, we'll we'll, we'll worry about this stuff never. Vampire killer. A whip that destroyed. Okay, so this is your background lore for everything. Okay. Enemies. That's cool. Oh, it tells you how many souls you've gotten from them. I guess, yeah, soul two. Tells you what items they drop and tells you elements because this game has elements which further encourage you to diversify your builds. So if you don't want to, like, just absolutely do no damage against some enemies, you will have to chase elemental effects, which I like. It encourages you to use more of the strange skills and souls and abilities and weapons you get. Do you see why I love this game? Am I, am I coming through clearly on how cool this game is? Hey, Manticore, don't I need one of you? Ow, jeez, that hurt. I'm not doing damage anymore. Okay, cool, you turned around. No, you turned around and mixed this way. Okay, okay. I stopped doing damage on it when I... Yeah. Literally brought- okay, poison brings your strength all the way to zero. That's- that's pretty rough. Uh, I think this is a spear job here. Oh, I killed it. Never mind. I'm a genius. I already did it. Look at that picture. Yeah, this is definitely a job for spears. Oh, beautiful. And we get spaghetti! We get spaghetti. We could also go to the we could also go to the uh, left and down and left, or we can go to the right here, or we can and then we have a lot of options. So I'd say we're out of Tutorial Island. We can already explore this place to our heart's content, which I, I love. It's so hecking good. Look, I like this game. Deal with it. Okay. Also, just for the record, this cool shadow effect on Soma, like look at that shadow trailing him as he jumps. Isn't that cool? It's just a little thing, but it's not distracting to the eye. And it helps you track your character's movement. And I honestly think that it helps make jumps more vis visibly reliable, since you can see your trajectories and account for things. Oh yeah, I forgot to equip this. Does this change it? No. I believe some capes will actually change... Wait, what's that do? Plus D. Okay, we don't need defense. I'm, not, I'm never gonna die. Warp room. Okay, is there no way you can warp to? We don't have an- Oh, we do! Oh, that's what the, that room is for! Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Let's go save. Okay, and that's just open now. Nice! Ow! Bunk, bunk, bunk. You see. All right, nice. In early game, enemies do drop a decent amount of money. I'm pretty sure that trails off pretty quickly. Like it won't even be really worth attacking them soon. But I'm still getting like hundred dollar drops off these things. How much do I have now? I have two point four K. 
Tequila Bill. Hi, Yoko. Oh. Oh no, did Hammer try some did Hammer try something funny? I often notice him glaring at me. I don't think he's glaring. Since he's a neighbor, I usually give him a smile, but he always looks away. Did I do something to upset him? No, you're imagining it. He just looks rough, so it looks like he's glaring. He's actually he's actually like uh don't worry about it, Yoko. Just just don't worry about it. Oh, well, okay. So the blunt sword updates off the bomber armor, which we do have access to, and it goes to a katana. Yeah, let's go with the spear. We can always get another armor knight sold. That's easy enough. <laughs> and over, let's go check hammer. I think I want to get the boomerang because. It's a boomerang. I got it, right? Like, it's, it's so weird to have. I just got a new magazine today. You have news. It's about real monsters. I think it's got news about... Th okay, cool. Yep, 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 yeah. Okay. You sell magazines. I get it. I already bought the first one. So, we're good on that. Boomerang! Gimme. I still have an extra thousand money dollars. Constitution and defense. A plain pendant that does nothing? I need it. Look. Pendant. Dark Souls. Let's go. You know this does something cool. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back in it then. Ooh, that part isn't as good. Ooh, that hits nice hard. Good, 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 good. The entire American target again was first. Luffy. Oh, I remember Luffy now. Yeah, I remember when that was like super popular. The, didn't, I, the creator ended up being weird about stuff, if I recall correctly. But we don't need to go into that. Um, where to now? Where to now? Where to now? I'm kind of feeling like left and clearing out this area to the left. What are you? Tell what these are. Hold on. I feel like I'm missing an item. Shouldn't I be able to see what enemies are when I hit them? That looks, I mean, I'm gonna guess that's a slaughterer, though. I'm gonna guess that's what I need for one of my upgrades. So I'm gonna bouncy slime. Heck yeah, let's go bouncy slimes. Wow, bouncy slime kind of rules. That hit multiple times. And just bounces around the room? Okay, Bouncy Slime is actually kind of low-key brilliant, I think. It's the pigs from Duke Nukem true! A cap. Alright, um, 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 secret? No secret. Just a stinky ghost. Ooh, okay, well, can't reach that. Wait, what was the, uh, the okay. Abominable snowman discovered. Okay. We have spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think so. If I recall correctly, the UMA news gives you not spoilers, but gives you hints about exceedingly rare or difficult to find souls that you might not know. They, but it doesn't actually tell you how to get them. It just tells you that they might exist. Like, okay, apparently. Apparently there's an abominable snowman soul. So like, look out for that, I guess? I don't know, it's kind of weird because it doesn't actually... Oh, that's a cool attack. Gosh, I don't like the attack speed, but I adore the reach. Um, I'm down here. Looks like down here dead ends out to any this uh, corners anyway, so we'll go here first. Easy. And look at that! Look at that detail, that little parallax scaling in the background there. Through that crack in the wall. That's a nice touch! It's little things like that, it's little bits of polish like that that really make this game work. 
Because they did not need to do that, right? That was entirely optional. And no one would have complained if they didn't. But by taking the time and effort to go a little bit above and beyond, they made it nicer. They, they made it look nicer. Huh? You! Uh, you've come just as I predicted. Celia Fortier. For, um, why am I saying Fortier? It's for it's just Fortner. You kidding, kid? You kidding? You tell me this punk's the Lord of Darkness? Ha! <laughs> Judging matters and appearance. <laughs> Simpletons are so vexing. What do you call me, Dimitri? <laughs> I merely stated a fact. Dario, Dimitri, both of you, enough. Shh. Excuse the behavior. Welcome to our house. Home to our church. You talk as if you expected me. You fear that you'll imperil our innocence for who you are and can become. Am I not correct? Well, uh, yeah, kinda. I fell for your ruse, I guess. I fell for your ruse? What? Why would you want to resurrect the Dark Lord anyway? We do not desire the Dark Lord per se. Ah, uh, for God to be perfectly good, there must be a being of perfect darkness. Again, again. Not true. If you, I mean, if you want to believe in divinity yourself, that's entirely on you. But light does not require darkness, as darkness is simply the absence of light. And you do not have to have a being of darkness to balance a being of light. Most faiths, uh, historically speaking, don't have a light, a light and a dark. It's usually just a path of the light. This, this, you don't need, you don't, this is a nonsense statement. For there to be perfect good, you must have a being of perfect darkness. No, that's, that's just not true. Like, theologically speaking. Well, that's got nothing to do with me. I mean, if this world does need a perfect dark being, uh, someone else has got that, got it, right? Is that how it works? Perhaps. And perhaps it's not. What is true, however, is that the power of darkness steadily grows faint, and that the Lord of Darkness must be enthroned without fail. And not a moment too soon. But... Huh? I heard enough already. Let's rip this punk apart right here and now. Have patience. He will try to stop me using whatever means. There's no need for haste. Huh? What, what are you saying? He's in our hands now. We can destroy him whenever, however we wish. Correct. He will also serve as a test for both of you. I see. Wait a second. Where was that? Uh, I'm skipping voices way too fast. Wait a second. Test? What test? I knew about that. Are you incapable of even thinking a little? There's but one Dark Lord, and yet there's two candidates. You and I. Uh, and me, right? Duh, I know that. Well, then get this through your hollow skull. Whoever defeats this boy gets chosen as the Lord of Darkness. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, okay. This'll make it fun. Next time I see you, punk, I'll boot you to ashes. I shall depart also. I see no significance in my presence at this time. Um, so... The hex is that? Yeah. They were born at the same time as Dracula's demise. They're inheritors of Dracula's dark powers, much like you. But, like, that's no guarantee they can become Dark Lord. They can, by shattering Dracula's soul. If you wish to stop me, I'll be waiting for you at the top. I may even change my mind if you survive my traps. So basic plotline is... Wish. So basic plotline is that, is um, there's two dudes who want to be evil, and we are evil, but we don't want to be evil. And we can't hand them our evilness because then they'd be evil. We got a boss. Is this a save room then? It is. There's almost always a save room next to a boss. Okay, yeah, it's just a straight up boss fight. Okay. Well, uh, let's go, I guess. Okay, I guess we're. Oh, jeez. Um. Whomst? Whomst has done this? Hello? Okay, that's kind of intense for the second boss of the game. Okay, so that punch punches me. That makes sense. Um, what do I. What do I do here? I think I use the slime. I think the slime might be low-key amazing here. 
You know what? That actually did good. I'll take that. Go slime. Can I have multiple slimes out? Oh, I can stand on this. Oh, okay. Oh, kind of. A little bit. Oh, that's... Ow! Okay, that hurts. Right. He's got the Bimu eye. I knew this. That's like the whole reason that he's in the... Oh, jeez, I'm actually almost dead. Um, we're fine. We're fine. We just need to not get hit by Bimu eye. Duck. Oh, that's cool. You see his eye behind his hand? It's like all gross and stuff. I love it. Duck. I almost got hit by that. That would have killed me. I should have grab another potion. That actually could have killed me. Be sure to like the video, I guess. I don't know. I just remembered I should say that once in a while. Um, and yeah, slime is amazing. Ow! Stop punching me with your punch fist! Ow! I said... What did I just say? Oh, wait. Um, um... Uh, no! Dang it! I didn't get there in time. Heck. Uh, heck! Potion again. That, that was not a bit. I genuinely did not want to miss that. Okay, cool, we did it. Heck yeah! Touch this green to shatter certain blocks. Okay. And that's a passive soul. What's over here? What's over here, though? But, but what's over here? But I want to go that way. There's clearly no wall here. Why didn't it let me go that way? That's weird. And yes, I am using a mouse because I am doing this on an emulator. And I do own this game. I do not have DS capture equipment. So emulator is the most effective way to play. So I need to pounce for my mouse anytime the game tells me to do that, which is actually very realistic to the original because instead you had to pounce for your stylus, you know? Hmm. Okay. Now, where are we going? What's our hopes? What's our dreams? I mean, we know we're at one place where we can use that. Ah, get back. Also, I love this enemy's positioning here. Because when you first meet that enemy here going in... No, not this one. Never mind. Just figure out I'm wrong. The last time you see one of those enemies, you fight it from an elevated position, which makes it much easier. And this time when you see it, um, it's not elevated, and you have to fight it, like, to its face. It's using the same enemy in two different ways. Hey, Frankenstein! <laughs> New library? What do we got here? Alright. Are we gonna, you know what, is that gonna be the twist? Are we gonna get like some big twist at the end of the game? Of like, but wait, Julius was born on the day that Dracula died. No way, that wouldn't make sense. He's, that wouldn't make sense. Oh, I didn't try the boomerang, let's try the boomerang. Um, okay, Boom boomerang does not return. That's not a much of a boomerang. It's, it's a non-returning boomerang. That defeats the entire purpose of having a boomerang. If it doesn't... What's the point of a boomerang that doesn't return? It also does no damage. Okay, well, uh, boomerang is garbage. Maybe there's an upgraded boomerang that's cool. Poke, poke. Oh, we also have the specials I need to remember. What's the boomerang special? No, I gotta know that. Maybe that doesn't suck. Hello, buddy. Okay, the boomerang did the special did three damage. But it didn't do anything different. It does three damage against this guy anyways. The boomerang special did nothing. Can it at least collect the heart? It can't even collect the heart. Why would, why would boomerang? Why would I boomerang? Actually, if I guess this guy, I probably want to... Uh, Cestus? Ow, ow, ow. Lanky jerk. Can you believe that? Can you believe that, that tall people are like that? Um... We'll stick to right here. 
I am already hurt. I should go heal. Man, this slime, though. This slime is an absolute banger of an attack. I wish I could have two of them out, but then if I could have two of them, I would wish I could have three, and if I had three, I would just flood the entire screen with slimes, and it would be amazing. Maybe that ha- maybe Oh, dude! What if you upgrade the slime, and instead of more damage, it lets you summon more on screen at once? How cool would that be? Um... I'm just gonna go this way, I guess. Honestly, the weapon attacks using mana is cool, and I love that I have an extra mana you option. So basically, I have three ways of using mana right now. I have my R ability, which actually does drain a little bit of mana, not much. I have, but some of the other ones, you know, like the, uh, the spear spin was also on that same ability. I have my soul, which is the slime right now, and I have my weapon attack, so I have multiple options for using my mana. Which feels good! No, that's not it. That's... Uh, where was it? It was up... Oh, that's right, it was near the entrance. We're gonna take the teleport tool back. That's what it was. It was up by the entrance spot. Plus, I think I might be able to explore some of that area up there now, maybe? I don't know. This, is there a secret about that painting? Do you do anything, sir? Possibly, ma'am? I'm not sure. Human gender is weird. I don't understand what, what, what you are. Is it a human or a demon? I don't know. It's confusing. I try to keep these streams to around two hours because, well, as you probably can already tell, I tend to stream more of a Let's Play style. I kind of stream for the VOD, if you will, you know? Setting up a stream so that you can watch it whenever you want. So if you miss a stream, don't feel bad about going back and watching the video in between episodes. I generally try not to stream the same game two days back to back for that exact reason, so that if you miss a stream, you have a chance to catch up. And two hours for a VOD length to watch again is, honestly, I think, a pretty good length. There's, can I get up there? Oh, I can get here. Can I ascend? No. Is there anywhere else I can get that I couldn't get before? Oh. I'm gonna go do a quick backtrack here. Nope. Yo, it's the Yeti! Shoutouts to Yeti. I have no idea how to spawn him. But we found him. He's in the background. We probably need to find some bait. Some Yeti snacks. Those are like Scooby snacks, except for Yetis. I've decided. We were already crushing areas, the early areas. Which honestly feels a little bit too early to backtrack to the early areas and kind of stomp. But I mean, hey, we're rocking it, you know? Hmm. Oh, wait. Good tutorials are important, even if they can be annoying when you're playing them. Oh, wait, I don't need to go down there. Wait, yes, I do. No, no, I don't. And the music is solid. Like, the GBA does not have a good sound uh, card, right? The, the GBA sound card is notoriously just not so hype. But they're doing they're rocking it. They're making some good chip tune out of it. Ow. Nope, cannot stab that. Why can't I see the enemies when I... I guess I can only see the enemies' names once I kill them? Or once they drop a soul? Like, I mean, I guess we just have to infer. This isn't that hard. Hey, summon a zombie! Oh, we've got to try it. 
got to try basically everything we seem to get. We got to try it. Go! Okay, but that's actually not terrible. If that multi hits against big creatures, that's actually kind of good. This is where the ice wall... No, that's not where the ice wall was. Never mind. I'm wrong. I, where was the ice wall? I have already failed it. Um... I want to say that it was... Eh. Where's my cursor? I want to say that it was here, maybe? Let's check that spot. Let's just see if that was a thing. Bats! Ow! The second spin devil! That might actually be relevant! Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. So we're just going straight to the right. I guess. The rapier feels good. It's a good blend of attack and reach. And I just always tend to enjoy rapiers. And it's a weapon that I'm, you know, well trained in IRL. It's actually a weapon that I'm very familiar with. Which, well, makes me comfortable with it. Okay, dude. Alright, so we can also go down, left, left, right, down, right, right, up, right, right. That's a path that we can take. This is what I was looking for. There we go. We're totally gonna have to do platforming with this, aren't we? Yep, we are. Oh, hey, I actually nailed that one. Um, there we go. And I just have to curve this out then? Yep. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Um, always dig straight down. Ooh, a knife? Combat knife, let's go! Love it. Love it. What are you? You're just a mirror. I don't want the zombie. I want slime. I want slime friend. Okay, we have a big mirror. I do not have any way to mirror things. I was kind of... Oh, this is going to be more annoying. I was kind of counting on that mirror being the way to progress. Or that, you know, this room, I mean. But it's fine. This is a cool idea, but, like, in general, the touch control is just, oh, I'm gonna do it all the way on the way back, never mind, it sucks. <laughs> in general, motion con uh, the touch screen controls on that was on the DS, they were rarely the best of options, right? They were never truly great. Can, you, can anyone name a game on the DS where the touch controls were actually fantastic and well implemented into the core of the game? With the possible exception of The World Ends With You. That one I would accept. Okay, if you say The World Ends With You, then I'll give you half a point. No, you get a full point. The World Ends With You is actually awesome. Yeah, I guess that's the one. I guess that's the only one I can think of. Ah, uh, this attack speed feels good. I know it's less damage, but... I get to stab things bunches. Give me more souls! Oh. It didn't give me more souls. Well, we got an axe armor. Eh. Get back here. Get back here! Big Bang Mini? I don't know about that. I've never heard of that one. And I never played Populous, actually. I'm familiar with it, but I never actually played it. Um, 
am I going? I'm going over there. Yes, I know where I'm going now. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I think I know where I'm going to try to go. Yeah, look at that attack speed. I love it. I love it. Stabby knives feel good. I'm assuming you're a slaughterer just because pigs to slaughter is like, you know, a thing. I'm assuming that's what the enemy is. I'm guessing we'll find an item that'll tell us what enemies are when we stab them. Because that's a usually a thing that you do in Castlevania games. And with how good the other components of this game are, I feel like they're not going to deprive us of that kind of core information, you know? The developers seem cooler than that, frankly. Get stabbed bunches. There we go. Oh, it's on the status screen? Um, how do I... Oh, there it is! You're right, thank you! I needed that. Okay, yep, that's a slaughter rail, right? See, there was uh, an enemy in, um, in War Machine, because it's the, a slaughterer, and it, it, it looks like that. Okay, yeah, no, they, they, you're spot on. That just gives me all I need and makes all my dreams come true. What is that thing? Ooh. Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. I gotta, like, pay attention or something. No, I don't. I can do this without paying attention. I'm not gonna... I, I can't engage in mechanics. That wouldn't be me. I'm just gonna hold down the cursor here and let let the let God do that guide us. There we go. Tara's having fun with the cats. <laughs> you know the war machine? Anymore? Yeah, I, I used to play war machine a lot, like actually competitively a lot. Like I actually used to be one of the War Machine players who would, like, go to events and be good at game video games, or be good at tabletop games. I stopped when, around when the plague hit, frankly, and just haven't really got back into it because, well, I started streaming and this brings me more happiness than that did, frankly. My biggest joy for, uh, for tabletop games, well, for wargaming, I guess I should say, not tabletop games, I love, you know, RPGs. My biggest draw for wargaming, honestly, was drawing up and painting my minis. And, well, now this is my creative outlet. My creative outlet is my acting and is my presentation of these games. Which brings me so much happiness. And thank you for all for being a part of this happiness. Ooh, treat! Ow! That wasn't so bad. Also, slime is amazing. I love slime. Ooh, hello? Hello? What are you? Oh, you go... Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me. We got a new seal, it goes scoop, scoop, scoop. Guess I would like to practice. You go swoop, put a swoop, put a swoop. Okay, good, you got it. YouTube crashed for you? Oh no! Let's go back and see if the other pathway is a pathway. Because that gets progress vibes, and I want to avoid progress so I can find treasure. Oh, oh, those are my dragrams! Those are my dragrams! Sorry, I have my dragram PTSD right now. Ow! And that requires water walking of some form? Okay. Looks like those mandragras do hit like trucks, but... Um... Do I have anything that can make them sad? I don't think so. Well, they don't hit the entire screen, so that's good. Well, I'm not gonna farm in Dragon right now, that's for sure. I might uh, off screen. I'll do farming off screen for the record. I'm not gonna, like, if I'm just gonna be just grinding souls, I'll either do that on the Twitch.tv, the Discord channel, which is a uh, link in the description, or 
just on my own time and, you know, not worry you guys about it. Unless it's like an interesting grind, but like those are kind of antonyms, right? An interesting grind is in conflict of terms. You know what, we'll go back and- I, I don't have any new stock. Uh, I do want to save, but let me check, um, let me check friends first, see if we have what upgrades we need for things. Because we may have just gotten an upgrade for a new item that we, you know, stumbled into. Oh, yep, yeah, there is, up there is upgrades, there is upgrades. Castle map 2, let's go. Big upgrade there. Big sections. We have a main gauche. Which is a- oh nice, it actually is a defensive weapon. It's a, it's a defensive sword. That's cool, I like that. It's expansive though. And a basilard, ooh. It's really expensive for not that much more damage. I'm glad we got that combat knife. Alright, he actually just sells the ses gun. <laughs> it's, it's still funny, he just says gun. Tomahawk? Oh, that's the upgraded boomerang, I bet. Okay, 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 okay. It's just a gun. Okay, but what if I just, uh, gun? Breastplate's actually not that bad, but I don't want to spend that much money on it. Red scarf? I'll get the red scarf. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's a buy for me. That's a big upgrade boost for not too much money. Hmm. Most sick to Magic the Gathering. You know, I used to be into Magic the Gathering. I just haven't played in so long, and it would be way too expensive to buy back any decks. Can I ask you something? What is it? It's about Julius. Do you think he would consider me to be just a burden? Oh yeah, totally. I mean, uh, uh, no. So much you saw him. At the drawbridge, he left without a word from me. He also said the monsters inside were tough, so I offered to help, and... Do you know what? He turned me down as if I was a child. Whoa. Calm down. What? Are you on Julia's side, then, Soma? No! I, he's probably just worried about you. I can fight, too. I, I, I give you a chance, Yoko. I give you a chance to fight, and you did not. Yoko, you just don't understand how a guy thinks. What?! He just cares about you. He doesn't want to see you get hurt. Like Hammer, who cares about you way too much, actually. You have to try to understand for his sake. If I were in Julia's spot, I think I'd say the same thing. Nah, scratch that. I want Mina to help me. She's probably amazing at magic. Look at her. She's like a shrine maiden. She can probably, like, seal half the, the monsters in here. But waiting for all the time isn't fun. When you get home, make sure you treat Mina right. Yeah. I'm glad I have someone to confide in. Alright, what do we have for upgrades? We actually can upgrade the Partisan again. Oh gosh, that's kind of hype. Cestus, because that Slaughterer. Right, you know what? Sure, we'll take a Partisan. That's a lot of damage. That's a comically high amount of damage, frankly. Halberd. Oh, the course Valkyrie Souls? Goodness. Okay, well, we have a fancy weapon now. And again, we've been playing this game for 90 minutes, give or take. And look at how much cool stuff we've already gotten. We have builds, we have options for builds, we have target enemies without the game just giving me a, a bounty board. They actually have a reason for me to get to hunt certain enemies specifically. It's so good! Look, look. I like this game, okay? I will keep gushing about it. Keep watching. I will keep gushing about it until I, until I lose viewers. Please don't leave. I need you. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, no, I think I think you're right. Uh, just r running away and leaving Julius to the draw, uh, like... Julius running away and just leaving the drama behind. 
actually, yeah, no, that's, that's the right choice. That's actually a smart choice. Ow! Bonk. Oh, wow. That worked pretty well. You just spat at me. How rude. Um... What button is it? There it is. Those are Une, of course. I believe that other one's a corpse weed. Oh, I could probably go back and uh, knock down the drawbridge. Ah! You knocked me! <laughs> he knocked me back out the door! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jerk! <laughs> What an absolute blighter. Uh, nope, not high enough jump. Tragic. Ow. Okay, okay. Okay, we're just gonna stab you. Wow, you. Wow, okay. Ah, I remember the. I don't remember how the difficulty scaling is in this game. I feel like this game gets somewhat difficult. Oops. We went to the sky. Oh, uh, no. Ah, beans. We got Donkey Kong. All right, now we have a useless shortcut because we can just teleport, so why would we ever use that? But if we unlock it, and that's the important thing. We got the emotional satisfaction of unlocking a door, which, let's be honest, let's be honest, there's a lot of emotional satisfaction. In unlocking the door. You know it. You agree with me on that one, right? Axe armor! Oh, that's interesting. Because we already got the axe armor before, it usually wouldn't give us the big pop-up again. It would just, you know, give us the soul. But because we used it for metamorphosizing... Because we used it for metamorphosis, it, it gave us the pop-up like, as if it was the first time getting it. That's kind of interesting. I think that's kind of cool. Okay. So we have up, we have right. Ow! Okay, forgot about that one. I guess we just check right. Ooh! Ooh, there's the armor upgrade I've been looking for. What are you? What are you? What are you? Breastplate. Yep, that. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'd say we're in a good position. I would say this is going to be a boss. Um. Ow. Ow. Please stop. Please. Ah. Ouch. Oh, I can't do this. Help. Slime, help me. Okay, well, I guess it's not the magic seal we have, then. And I guess I can't go down there. And I guess I'm just going to chug a potion. I need to buy more potions. I guess I am going to need to farm some gold, too, from the looks of this. Like, you can sort of, like, save Skomet and go back to the save point every few minutes to, you know, level up higher and... Ah, beat their butts. Oh, no, I can't go up there. Oh, interesting. So many corpse widows are familiar. Interesting. Okay, so I guess I actually can't go that way. In thought occurs to me. Thought occurs to me. Hold on, hear me out. Okay, so I can kill those things. I don't think it's that strong. Like it's not like I'm gonna be able to cheese out a kill on a, on a high level soul this early. But I can kill them if I feel like that's valuable. Oh, it's, there's one right here. Never mind. <laughs> or there's just one like right in front of me. I can just kill this one, Jade. Because it's just it's right here. Ooh, pretty. Oh, look at the skeleton farmer. I love him. Oh, he's having such a good day. Does that count? Does that count as an actual Mandragora kill, though? 
Well, Kasunune soul, so maybe. He even covers his ears for the Mendrago. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Can I get Mendragra souls off of this? I don't know. Man, that skeleton farm was kind of cool, though. Oh my goodness, look at this guy go. <laughs> Dude, I, I can't even be mad at that. That's so awesome. You know what? I don't even want to kill you. I'm going to kill you once. Just so you have your stats in the stat screen. But I feel bad about it. So if that makes you feel better, um, just know that I feel bad about it. Why are those bouncing? Ooh, what's that? <gasps> it's the thing that I wanted! We now- Oh my goodness, this is the thing that I wanted from, uh, Aria! And we can have two equip sets! We have Halberd Breastplate Scarf and the other side, Combat Knife, Breastplate Scarf. So we can actually use uh, some things on both equip sets. And then on the knife build, we'll use what? I don't know. Um, axe? Uh, you know what? Corpse Weed sounds great. And we only have one passive. So now we have boom, 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 and we can go... Oh, that's so good! I love that! Oh my gosh. Behold. Behold the corpse weed. It's terrible. They gotta get at least one kill though, right? Nailed it. Okay, we're done with corpse weed forever. That was actually terrible. <laughs> And actually, I... Mm, enemy. No, it was Yorick. That, that was not uh, Vorik. You just wanted to say Vorik because of the channel meme to make me see that word again. To um, think about it. What didn't you? That, you that's, that's so cruel. How dare you have done this to me? How dare you have done this to me knowing what you were doing? And if you say you didn't know what you were doing, I... I mm, hmm, questionable. Punch in the butt. Punch in the face butt. There's so many butts to punch. Ow! Could use a heal, but that means finding a save room or an item. Oh, those are weak to piercing. That's good to know. This is a lot easier when he doesn't absolutely gank me. Do I need to, like, use the magic seal? How do I activate this? Is it active? Now, now can I do it? No. Hmm. Mental note, buy more potions. Yorick! Yorick, how dare! What happens if I kill the head? It just gets angry and runs at me. Uh, you missed. I was kind of hoping it was going to hit a wall and explode. Okay, so that happens. There's- ooh! Gun! Multiple Yorks guarding a gun. Just as Shakespeare intended. Um, oh, I can get up there. Okay, I'll, I'll go acquire a gun. Because that will be extremely fun. Is there like an entire upgrade path of guns? What if gun is just like one of the types of weapons you can get in this game? Is there gonna be like... Uh, how do I get over there? Ah, uh, beans, I can't. 
I'll find my way up there, over there, up there, over there, when there. Okay, if I go up, left, left, up, right, up, up, right, down, I think I can get over there. I'm going for it. No, I'm gonna check this room over to here. It might be a save or a warp. I feel like we've covered a pretty big, sizable chunk of the map already. Though, these games aren't terribly long. Okay, let's just... The Dark Chapel. Okay. Um, not right now. I need gun. I need the power of gun on my side. There we go. Hello, Yorick. Ah, beans. No, 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 don't hit me! I love that he's not even attacking me, he's just kind of playing kickball with himself, and honestly, I respect that. I respect where he's coming from, frankly. So if I go to the left, then up, then left, then left, then up, then right, then right, then right, then down, then right, I should be able to get to where the gun. That's the goal for the stream now. No, Luna, you've summoned a hell bomb! How dare! Need my neutral B. <laughs> Man, how cool would it have been to get, like, Soma in Smash as opposed to, like, another Fire Emblem? Like, he would have even been a sword user, right? He would have even been, like, a good anime sword user. But instead we just got, you know, two Belmonts, right? And remember, they remember they took Shantae from us. Never forget that they took Shantae from us. They didn't let us have Shantae, and for that I can never truly forgive them. Ooh. Got him. Um, well, I can't go up there yet. I need uh, vertical movement options. It's kind of been the story of the run so far. Is we, oh, hello, hello, we got secrets here. Not secrets, but we have pathways. So I want to have two... Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, what gun this thing first? A floret! Ooh, heck yeah, let's go! That'll replace... the combat knife. Yep, that's my new rapier. Love it. And money. Good, 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 good. Yeah, if I had one pick for Smash, and for the record, I did not. They did not actually um, ask me what I, who I wanted in Smash. Much to my disappointment, you know. I was hoping that look, they won't return my calls. If I could have picked one character for Smash, it would have been Shantae. It would have been such a good fit. It would have been such a perfect fit. She closes out most of the consoles. Like, she's usually one of the last characters added on a, on a console. Whoa! Butts. I'm gonna keep going forward because I think that this is gonna be a save room, or this. One of these two are gonna be save rooms. And so I'm just gonna push forward with my health as is. Uh, no, no. Uh, that, that one. There we go. There we go. Buttons are hard, okay? So skeletons are, are not taking a lot of damage off piercing. Got another Une Soul. That's good. Oh, oh, that's a mimic. Oh, geez, I'm trapped. Oh, no, no, no. Bad position, bad position. Help, 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 help. Okay. Why'd you get another barrel already? I don't want to kill the mimic. Um, I don't. Ooh, I. Mm, uh oh. I'm suddenly in a very bad position. That's fine. I can get to the save room. I'm assuming it's a save room. If it's not a save room, then I'm actually screwed. But uh, I can get there. I can get there. Let's just... It's gotta play it a little bit slimy. Perfect, perfect. 
Yeah, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. No! Oh, 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 oh. No! Oh my goodness! Okay, no, I actually die from this, don't I? Yes, I do. Dang it, I tried to go in and duck. But Okay, you know, we, 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 is that just a hard game over? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, we got, okay, you know what? No, we're fine. We're fine. We're not that far back. We'll keep. We'll get there. We don't- we lost that- okay, it's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. We're fine, fine, fine. Everything's fine. Okay, let's just... We can get through it pretty quickly, right? There wasn't anything that dangerous. Yeah, the game over screen looks very Dasher Zone, doesn't it? Shout out to the original Dasher Zone. Before, like, someone else took it over, the account. I don't need to get into that drama, but just be aware that there's some drama there. I love the way that the Mandragor explode, but I also hate the way that the Mandragor explode because it looks like you're gonna get a soul when you don't. So like, I love it, but I also hate it, you know? Alright, we go a bit this way. This is gonna be real smooth. We're just gonna come in here and go thwomp a bomb. Take a bonk -a You know, I need a faster weapon for this. Just give me my sisters, please. Bunches of punches will never go wrong. Okay, we're gonna speed through this because we know what's ahead, so it's gonna be super easy for us to come, us to just come here. Okay, so just running at these guys does not actually work. Good to know. Punch dogs. Do not punch dogs. This is I do not recommend punching dogs. It's actually very rude to the dog. But I don't know why I had to clarify to the dog. I mean, it would also be rude to like anybody else who saw it. But I guess it's just especially rude to the dog. Another axe armor. Love it. Love it. That slime soul is so good, though. I would not be surprised at all if the slime soul carried us to the end of the game. Just genuinely, I feel like it, it might just be that good. I cannot punch the flowers. I don't have a hitbox low enough to punch the flowers with the cestus. That's actually extremely funny. Ow, you hit me! How dare you have actually hit me! Una, you recovered? I didn't get any like fancy souls, really, did I? Oh, there's the breastplate. Actually, that's we want to equip that right off. All right, in here is just the this jerk. So I just want to punch him to get him in the codex. Wow, that time he didn't absolutely destroy my face. Love that for me. And up here we go. Get wrecked. Okay, not sure what he was doing. Alright, um, 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 This is the way to the next thing we need. You are the one who was a huge jerk before. And we got it. Let's just real quick. Halberd. And combat knife build. Yeah, combat knife build. With breastplate and scarf. And. There. Perfect. Another Rune. Love that. Ow. All over, thank you. That's right, they're weak, they're weak to piercing. Good, good. Well, we'll take down the mimic this time. This time it won't beat us. 
Oh, that wasn't actually so bad. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. Nice. All right, we can take down a Mimic. Are we proud of ourselves? There's more stuff that we know we need to go back and get the, the rapier. We're doing fine now, though. Plus, I haven't used any potions yet, because I'm good at video games. I am a gamer, if you didn't know this. Whatever, my dude. Yo, we got them into Vagrasol! Shout to send monsters flying. I wonder if there's any souls that you can get that can cheese out movement. I wonder if there's a way to sequence break. I mean, there's gotta be some way to sequence break. It's a DS era pix uh, uh, game. It's probably like crazy uh, speedrun strats in this game. And that's just treasure. Love that. And we have our flirt back. All right, so we have Halberd on one side, and this will replace the Combat Knife. On the Combat Knife side, on the Floret side, we will use... Mandragora. Why not? Let's go. <laughs> Are you actually lightning me? How dare? How entirely dare? How exactly dare? Oh my goodness. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, it does a billion damage too. Okay, that kind of rules actually. You love that. I don't want to die. 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 Right, Mandragor rules. I don't care. This guy, I'll let him hit me. Helper does slashing, and the rapier does piercing. I want to make sure I have a diversity of attack types. Probably blunt would be better than slashing as my secondary. Piercing and blunt pair should pair together pretty well. Ha, you missed, you jerk. And slime, I'm guessing, is pure magical? I'm assuming slime is just pure magic damage. Just be based on how much damage it's doing and the way it's doing it. Whatever, mate. I don't know how to stop that. Uh, maybe we can attack it out of the air? Is that, like, can that be a thing? Be a thing. Alright, we can't get gun until we get some sort of vertical traversal. Thunderbolts? I'm into Thunderbolts. There's an enemy to Thunderbolt. Oh! It's kind of goes soft. I don't hate that, actually. Have any angle on it? Shame I can't kick around your skull. Just for funsies, you know. We cannot get gun. That leads to another zone. So let's try this back now. We're gonna go back down to the bottom here, and we'll be things gonna be okay. We're not gonna die because we're gamer. Ow! One, seven, two. Oh, that's right! We have to have uh, seven, seven, seven as the last three digits of our gold to get in there. I remember that now. Okay, okay, I think we can probably farm that pretty quickly. Yeah, that lightning seems to have a bit of homing tracking, which I like. I don't remember what's behind that door, and it's probably big enough that it's going to absolutely stomp my face in, because it's still early game for me. But you know what? Can 
Heck, heck, uh. Ow, what is this targeting? Okay, maybe it's not a good ability. Please get stabbed. Thank you for getting stabbed, I appreciate you listening to me. Knock it up there. Golly, I guess the only place to go is to the to the right here. I feel like I'm speeding through this. I feel like I'm like going through this really quickly. Come back again. Oh, that works. All right, 1172. How do we parse this out? I don't want to use any magic to kill these, which means I want an overhead attacking weapon. Which means that on the halberd, I'm going to replace that with... I don't have a really good over-attacking head weapon. I guess just the claymore. Man, the claymore is sick against flying enemies, that's for sure. Yeah, as long as I have... As long as I have less than full mana, the game wants to give me... Oh, hello, witch. You are very sultry. As long as I have less than full mana, the game wants to give me... Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. The game wants to give me mana refills instead of any, any money out of the breakable items. Okay, this works. Heart. Now mana's full, which means this should start dropping money. And bronze is 10, which is actually what we don't want. We need to get up to 700 anyways. Are we actually going to farm 700 money dollars before this ends? Well, they dropped 100 pieces, so I think we are, actually. All right, let's get up to 700, then I'll be very more careful about things. Actually... There's another hundred. Okay, okay, okay. All right, don't pick up any more blue. Why am I doing that? I shouldn't be doing that at all. All right, don't pick up any more dollar coins. And pick up that. Rotten meat. That should be delicious. I should also not die. Not that one. So we need uh, 310 money dollars. That is 50. That's good. That's good. As long as I don't pick up any blue ones, we'll be okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's a 50, so that's fine. Don't pick up the blue. All right, so we need 30, so we need three bronze. One. That's silver, that would put me over. That's a single, that'll mess me up. There's a bronze. One more bronze and we got this. That's too much money. No, no, no. No, no, no. I love the enthusiasm, but I don't want that. No, give me a bronze! One more bronze and we win! I don't know what we win, but we get through a door. Perfect. 777. Now we use mana so that we don't accidentally pick up more money. And those guys just get shredded. Alright, so where am I going now? Left, left, down. Good, 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 good. You need exactly. Uh, you have to be 777. Exactly, I believe. Hi, York. Ow. Yo, what if I hit that and it gave me a dollar? That would suck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Let's go. Let's go. We got access to three sevens. I mean, okay. I don't know what that does. Looks like it's a body armor, though. 
suppose that seven luck. Oh, seven luck, seven constitution, and seven int. But very low defense. Interesting. So that's a farming piece of gear. That actually sounds kind of useful. Not right now, because I am dying way too quick. I do not have enough max health to justify that. Hey, we got it, though. What do we do now? Um, you know what? What's the timestamp look like? We're almost at the two-hour mark. We'll start heading back towards town. Yorg, no! Oops. Fine, fine, fine. Honestly, I like our build. I like our setup. I like what we got going on. Even in the first episode, we already have a lot of cool stuff that's fun to use. This is just... Yeah, that just needs something else. Okay. <sighs> game's good. We're going to be going through all the DS Castlevania games following this. I even went out of my way to make a special, like, DS game uh, uh, overlay for the stream. Like, I literally just worked on it with my mods last night. I hope you like it. Don't know how to avoid those. I guess I can probably like because I can't jump up too early because I'm in the way. Uni I'm getting a ton of these Unite souls. Okay, no, I can't attack him. Okay, that's why I stop that by attacking. Who would have believed that you could stop an enemy by punching it? Impossible. Okay, that's how I deal with him. Got it. He looks good. Thank you. It's hard to put, present a DS screen, you know? Because I can't really show the vertical th way, you know? I, I just, that just doesn't work. It's just not a vertical screen that I can show. But I feel like this gets everything. It still has, saves a place for chat while keeping the game bits visible. I know that the minimap sucks for mobile users. I, my condolences. Why don't people say condolences anymore? Bring back condolences. People will just say I'm sorry for everything, but like, you know what? Sometimes you just want to condolence things instead. You know? This makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to anybody else. Maybe we should farm that Ouija table. Let me all farm that Ouija table between episodes, just because that'd be weird. I don't, what could it do? What could that soul even do? Maybe it just summons a Ouija table to walk ahead? That'd be kind of boring. Maybe it's like telekinesis and it throws like a random world object forward. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. How fun would it be to be on the game design team for this game though, right? Like, just a whole bunch of questions about, ooh, what is the, uh, what could this do? What could this do? What would be interesting for the player if they get this item? Like, you could just go, like, those planning sessions must have been so cool. Oh, he's talking about Julius? Yeah, Julius. Comes around to see Yoko a lot. Hey, you jealous... Hammer. Are you jealous of Julius? D do you think... Of course he comes around. Yoko is Julius' contact. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You just, I'm just, I'm just letting my mind get the better of me. Man, gotta snap out of it. Hammer. Is that like your only plot point this game? Is that like your whole thing right now is just being super, super weird about Yoko? I... Mm. Not a fan of it, Hammer. Not gonna lie. Hey, wait a minute. I just had a thought. I can sell stuff, right? I sure can. I could actually buy a spear, upgrade the spear, and then sell the halberd. That's kind of cool. I could actually farm gold fast that way. Hello, vampire. I could actually... Yeah, I could actually do some really interesting farms that way. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, cool. We'll see if we have any upgrades for Yoko. And then we'll 
We will, you know, it's the first day of a new stream. My first time. I have played it a long time ago, but I remember nothing about it. So basically, functionally, yes. Functionally, this is my first time playing it. All I know is that she's a priestess of this cult. And the fact that she has the ability to open gates for the dark side. What can she do by opening these gates? Mainly summon monsters and demons. She also creates zones that draw energy from the dark side. You'll need magic seals to close those gates. Yeah, alright. Okay, any fancy th upgrades here? Nope, we do not. We don't even have an axe. I know I could buy one, but not really my style right now. And I don't remember what I have, do not know what these do. We can so we can freeze things, but like, you know what? Let's try. Re okay, three at a time looks like. Um, actually, I kind of want to keep the skeleton. Nope, nope. Oh, hold on. The zombie. What I'm making is a zombie, and we have plenty of uni. What does this do? Yes. Mm, um. Cool. Uh, nothing happened. <laughs> what I expected to happen, but, uh, it wasn't nothing. <laughs> okay, fine. Keep your secrets, game. I'm guessing you have to meet a certain threshold of saleables to reach her doing something cool. <laughs> Some parts of this game are better than uh, Symphony. You know... I agree with that statement. Symphony is a, is one of the best games of all time. And it's not fair always to compare older games to newer games. Like, I can sit here and say, with a straight face and complete honesty, that Mario 3 is one of the best games of all time, despite the fact that, you know, Mario Odyssey is incredible and an amazing game. These can both be true. But you do have to consider that, you know, uh, the game at the, when it came out. Now, you don't always have to do that, because there's a relevancy of how well is it aged. Something like Final Fantasy VI continues to be one of the best games of all time, even now. What weapon synergy am I going? Um, I am not using weapon synergies. I am simply using, um... Probably gonna go with a Cestus, mostly. I enjoy Cestus as, a, as an attack type. But... Just kinda doing whatever. Right now, I'm early enough in the game that my battle plans are figure stuff out as I go. And throw them in drag at people. I do love that skeleton farmer, though. He's very good. Hello, you Eric. You know, let's kill, the let's kill the, uh, Mimic again. Maybe he'll do something cool. Nope, it didn't do anything cool. That's okay. Hmm. Ow. We'll go a little bit forward and see if we can't find... Actually, wait, that's another question I had. Is luck broken in this game? I know... I think luck was broken in Aria, right? Ah, I forgot to attack it. Hmm. Yeah, Symphony of the, of the Night is an amazing game that also aged incredibly well. And that's what I think is the most impressive about it. It's not just a good game for its time, it's a good game for all time. And, well, this game does do some things better than Symphony, that's no slight to Symphony, you know, and, and it's still just incredible. What's over here? Oh, hey, we got a save point right here. I was going to say, let's keep going until we find another save point. But maybe we'll go check again. Quick read says, uh, soup release <laughs> is useless aside from some souls are more powerful under max level. Hmm. Okay, good to know. I was hoping it would like decrease the co uh, the cost of things in the shop or something. Okay, so that's just a trap. It's just a button never to press because if you press that button, you'll be sad. Understood. Okay, we'll just go a little bit further. Probably another 15 minutes or so. I want to keep the vods close to that. Uh, two-hour mark, because any longer than that, and people are probably going to watch him. 
And like as like I say, Ooh, what are you? You are a Amalyric sniper. Huh. Money. You are big. How do you feel about my dragon? Sixty. Ow. Ouch. Ooh, jeez, that hurts. That hurts. Please stop hurting me. Oh wow, you actually don't have that many health. Okay, nice. There's another one there. Nice! Summon a great armor is a familiar? That sounds incredible. That sounds amazing! Give me... Great armor. Light. What did he say? That's actually not terrible. What do you say? Hold on. Might. Might! Is he saying might? Might! Credit. I don't... Okay. I haven't found any secret walls yet. Ah. No, no, don't hurt me! Oh, he hurt me. Actually, he only did one damage, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> Gosh, the Mandragora is so good. Is the Mandragora amazing in all the Soul games? Or, yeah, the, uh... Darkness games? Or DS games? I don't know. Yeah, Shadow's the sassy stained glass man, for real. Look at them. Ooh, there's no way I can get that now, right? Ha! Nope. Uh, no, I'll, I'll try one more time. Nope, not a chance. Okay, so we'll need bat or boots or some sort of vertical ascension maneuver. Bonk. Okay, 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 okay. What do we have in here? Hallway. And... Oh, okay, save room. Okay. Wow, that's really close to the last save room. That's, like, super close to it. Portrait of Rune is a favorite of your three? Oh. <laughs> I don't remember the other two. I mean, I don't remember this one either, to be frank, but it's been so long since I've played any of them. But I will be playing through all of them. Uh, you can check the ARIA playlist in the playlist tab of my YouTube channel, and if you want to check that out. My streaming style is less... My streaming style makes it less important to watch things live, but I do appreciate you guys when you are here live. That is so good against them. But I will be doing all of them. In order. Ah, beans. Okay, 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 we're fine. But I will be doing all of them, so please look forward to that, and please subscribe if you enjoy it. That was the wrong soul. Ah, there we go. But yeah, the ability to switch souls is so convenient. It's such a good move. Why can't I go through there? Do I have to, like, crouch jump? Oh, I missed that other one, too. Buddies, piss off. Got him. Alright, let's see if we can get this other one. So this one is... No, there's no crouch jumping. I probably need, like, a platform. I need, I need to generate a platform so I can slide across, I bet. I need to... Yeah, of course I need a soul. Yeah, for sure. No question on that one, eh? Alright, one last try on this one. Nope. Nothing doing. Okay. Be nice seeing them for the first time? Yeah. I agree wholeheartedly. Ow, please stop hurting me. Please, please stop existing. You are very weird. Like, like that's such a strange enemy. It's just like... It's just the... stinking... tombstone itself? It just hops around? Like... What's that? I don't even know what that's based off of. What mythos is that from? Because very few... Ooh, okay, are we doing a boss before we end the stream? Okay, we end the stream after the boss, it looks like. Okay. Shoom, put a shoom, put a shoom. Got it. Understood. It's memorized. Floret and Halberd. 
Mandragor, honestly, Mandragor's gonna be our bread and butter for this, right? Oh, I'm sorry, himbo voice is so good for Soma, though. He really is such a himbo character. He has never has any idea what's going on. Oh, is he blue maging it? Is he learning abilities by getting hit by them? Is he gonna mandragor me if I start mandragoring him? Ew, oh, excuse me for that rather <laughs> uncouth scene. Whoa, you're one of the Dark Lord candidates! Dmitry Blinov. You were fighting a demon. Does that mean you've forsaken Celia? You've drawn the wrong conclusion. And this is merely a ritual to gain power. A ritual? You witnessed it, yes? Unless you're as dim as Dario, you should have discerned my ability. So, that's what it is. I have no idea, man. Yeah, yes, I can co copy enemy attacks. Since there's no one else to disrupt us. Whoa, wait. I don't have any reason to fight you. Like, I know you want to kill me, and that kind of should be a reason, but like... You, you seem like a cool dude. We don't need to, like, you know, do this whole thing. Do you have any reason for dealing with like, like, the silliest thing other than, like, you know, ultimate power and possibility of becoming Dracula? None whatsoever. Oh, okay, cool. However, I have this power. I wish to know the meaning of it. Its significance! Is that not a natural desire? So, like, that's it? That's why you want to become Dark Lord? Is that so wrong? Refining my power will finally provide me with answers. <laughs> Let us begin. Okay. <laughs> Mandragora battle. This is the ultimate showdown. I'm out of mana. I guess I can manipulate him by using like a bad soul, but like that's gonna be less funny. Ow, okay, Mandra I can't actually deal with Mandragora though. I have no heals. Wait, I spaghetti. Any. Perfect. And I have me okay, we have a fine. We have plenty of heals. Um What's a... Une? Now, if he walks into that, does he have to use Une? Oh, it looks like he does. Oh my good, what the- holy cow! Okay, never mind, Une actually wrecked me. Oh, is Yeah? Okay, so he dodges back to make it so that you have to- not have to. No, 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 no! <laughs> Chain comboed by the Une! <laughs> okay, Une is overpowered. I was sleeping on it. I was not giving it respect. Une is actually the strongest soul in the game. I understand this now. Um, I will accord myself appropriately. No uh, Mandragora, no Une. Those are both entirely off limits. Thunderbolt will track to me, so that'll also be off limits. Uh, what's a bad soul? I guess I could just use Skellingtons? Maybe cats will be easy to dodge? I don't know. All my souls are baller. What if I use Whirlwind? Oh, there we go. There we go. Will he copy Whirlwind? Steam Devil. He starts out with an actual good one ability, though. I can't- I- this is unskippable. This is entirely unskippable. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 I'm so sorry for those noises. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's not actually letting me- Oh my- <laughs> Spin Devil's too bad! It's- it's a bad soul, but it's actually too bad, and like, it's- it's- it's so bad that I can't actually use it. <laughs> okay, so we need- we need a mid-tier soul. So I- it has to be bad enough that I don't mind him having it, but good enough that I can actually bloody hit him with it! Okay, 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 what do we do here? I actually do kind of like the idea of handing him this, but I'm going to have to give him something else first. We'll give him Skellington. We'll have Skellington, 
then we'll put him in there. That that was basically a chain stun, yeah. That was that was that was not it. Stop, stop, stop killing Oh my gosh! Stop! No! <laughs> laugh at the end there too. I hate it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, no, it's fine. We have to land the skeleton. Actually, land the skeleton, then we'll be fine. Then we'll be fine. Step one, land the skeleton, and everything is going to be great. I hope you guys came here for top tier speed run high quality content, because boy howdy, I'm so sorry. Honestly, that one dust ball that went to the left there, that probably killed me. That that probably would have just killed me itself. There we go. Come here. Wait, he gets both? Oh, he gets both? That's probably fine. That's probably fine. That's pro that's fine. That's probably fine. Can I just assess him? Ha 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 Yeah, he just has that permanently now. Can I just unlock him in the corner, though? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, um... Ha 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 If I'm coming in low and quick like this, then the, both the Dust Devil and the Bone are useless. So, we've we did it. We figured out a tactic. We have, uh, beaten him. He is now useless. And never mind, he can stab me. He has a knife. I did not know he had a knife. He just, uh... He should probably pull that knife out. It seems to be better than his other tactics, actually. I missed. It's okay, we don't have to talk about it. He just does double damage. It's actually, it's actually not that good. I think some of the later fists might get, like, a Hadouken or something. Honestly, like... The half of you from using Cestus is just because Dimitri has such a punchable face. He's just so incredibly punchable, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Get wrecked. It's over, dude. I came up short. No, what was that voice? It was, it was whiny wheelie. I came up short, it seems. I won't take your life, dude. Just, like, give up. That was really pathetic, man. You dare pity me? Soon you shall be the one that is pitied upon. Ah! That's amazing. I love that death. Bleh. Dead? That can't be. Oh. Ugh. What was that? Did I gain dominance over a human soul? Other than Mina? No, I gained no power. What was that light? I'm going to go save before I... No. I'm going to go save before I walk in the next room because that was extremely stupid. <laughs> but the question is, how did he die, right? Like, we didn't kill him. In fact, I didn't even use a lethal attack that entire time. I just punched him. Okay, we have this thing now. Okay, buddy. Calm, calm. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, we've hit a difficulty spike, it seems. Either that or I'm terrible at video games, and I refuse to admit that, so therefore we need a difficulty spike. I missed. I missed. I didn't miss. Hundred buck dollars. Okay, we are going to... We're gonna go back to town, talk to people one more time, because we beat a boss, and I'm sure that they have opinions about that. And I'm sure Hammer's gonna be really creepy about Yoko again. And then we'll call it there. Are you actually a Valkyrie? Ah, no, wrong one. You are. I'm a, I need your soul for something. And I forget what. I will probably do a little bit of soul farming off camera. But, I don't know. If you want to be a part of that, 
can join the Discord. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that slime does pure magic damage. I don't know how to check. There's another boss in the next room. We'll face that boss next time then. That'll that'll be the uh that'll be for next episode. <laughs> punch. Oh wait, these are I don't die in one punch? Oh my gosh. I guess the ghoul's not zombies. Push, push, push. I mean, I believe you. I, but it's actually because I believe you that I'm gonna go back now. I'm. Sh is there really no other fast travel nearby? There's probably one right in front of me. There was almost certainly another fast travel directly in front of me that I just completely walked by. Gosh, the ability to swip weapons is so good. I really hope they keep that for the other the DS Castlevania games, because that is just such a nice feature. My goodness. The best quality of life feature. For real. Combat-wise, I love the slime. I really do. Mandragora is just a lot of damage very conveniently. I feel like I'm not going to make a lot of use out of the weapon arts until I get more... Until I get more fancy ones, right? Just the simple ha is not really as exciting to me, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Kaboom! Nice. But I love that they exist, though, is what I'm saying, you know? The fact that, that all these weapon arts exist, I better not die on the way back to town. That would be the most pathetic. That would be just kind of sad, honestly. No, okay, I made it. I made it. If that meant, if that Une killed me, I would have cried. Okay, okay, okay. We'll talk to our support staff. Give a few brain thinks about how far we've come. Because, like, come on, we've been playing this game for two hours. And it feels like we've co looked and covered a third of the castle. This might only be a, a three to four episode game, which is almost kind of sad, honestly. Oh, man. No, he's gravelly. What's the matter? You look depressed. Well, see. I think Yoko's been kind of cold to me lately. Hammer. Um, I think you imagine it, dude. Yeah, you're right. That's gotta be. It's all in my mind. I'm feeling better already. Anyways, on to business. Dude, dude, dude. Calm down. Um, nope. Actually, no new weapons. Uh, new jazz jams here. Some extremely expensive weapons that we don't really have money for. That's fine. Although we do have the Lucky Charm and the... Um, the Lucky Seven shirt, so we could try to farm in some money by the soul harvesting. Hey, Soma. Do you know anything about Dario? Yeah, Dario Bossy. He has the ability to create fires. He's been implicated in countless inexplicable fires. He's a wicked criminal who is wanted all around the... Really? Wanted all around the globe for arson? That's, that's a little bit intense. Oh. That's all I know. Alright, what do we got here? Um... I still have no upgrade path on the rapier, which surprises me, because I have two rapiers. I have the rapier and I have the florette, and the fact that neither one upgrades is surprising to me. We know where a Valkyrie is, so I could get the upgraded polearm. I could buy an axe. I kind of want to get the base of each of them just so I have something to an upgrade path with. The katana could upgrade to a katana. It's just, I, I kind of want the whip knuckle, honestly. That's that's kind of what the direction I'm... Pro I, I, I'm definitely gonna farm that. Okay, I'm definitely farming the slaughterer. That's my play path. I do like the fist weapons. I like how fast they go. And I'm guessing that one of them will have the double attack that we had in Aria. Ah. Thank you all for joining me, by the way. This has been a delight. And this has just been a game that I've really been enjoying. I have been in game design for like a decade now, give or take, and 
this was a big inspiration for me for a lot of the ways that I see, think about games. If you see how I was talking in the beginning of this game, and how I was talking when I was playing Blossom and what I was complaining about in that game, you can sort of see my mindset when it comes to these games and what's important to me. So, like, hopefully it's important to you as well. As we go through this, I'll be talking more about game design, I'll be talking more about, like, Castlevania itself and the concepts that it works with, and just hanging out with you guys and having a good time. So if you had a good time, hit the like button. If you had a bad time, hit the dislike button. Fair is fair, and I accept my feet. So, I hope that you have a wonderful evening. And can I just say that you smell lovely today. And thank you for gracing me with your presence. Good night, friends.